manufacturer. Another American manufacturer from our largest kit manufacturer. I should say the largest kit manufacturer in the world, to my knowledge. Uh, I believe somewhere more than 6,000 RVs flying. Everybody in aviation knows the RV. This is this is the RV12. This is the light sport in, uh, entry from this company, and uh, it's a little sweetheart, a little two-seater sweetheart. Give me a little bit of history on how these people get into the light sport. I mean, they were, to my knowledge, they were building like home builds and stuff like that. Well, they are, and they still were, and this is that too. Uh, this is the experimental amateur built. They are not fully building these, uh, but it's got an excellent price point, which is a common feature of all Vans airplanes. Uh, over to uh, right out my windshield here, I'm looking at the 10, which is their four-seat variety. That's also one of them that they've got a whole series of two-seaters. Uh, started out with a single-seat RV3, then went to the two-seat tandem RV4, then the 6, then the 8, then the 9, and then I'm undoubtedly missing a number or two in there because they've got a whole bunch of different choices. Tail wheel or nose wheel, uh, depends on what the uh, builder wants to build. So this airplane here then, it's on the light sport aircraft list? Absolutely it is. This is one of our uh, entries that's qualified. Now is it coming out in a kit form then? Yeah, uh, Vans has elected not to do a fully built airplane because they're so good at making kits. These people are probably the best at not only making a lot of kits, but at supporting the kit builders. They've got an entire organization set up for that. They use a technology called match hole. Uh, a technology that allows the builder to use existing holes that are punched in and then finish it off themselves, but it means they don't have to jig it all up in the more conventional way that's been associated with home-built airplanes. So it's a relatively straightforward build, and I'm told the average build time is about 800 hours. It's going to vary. It depends on the builder's skills. Some have been down 550, some up at 1100, but 800 looks like the right number, they're saying. Uh, the one and only option you get comes with the kit is the Rotax 912 ULS, the 100 horsepower model, which uh, my experience down in Florida flying this at Sun and Fun gives it lots and lots of power. But it also glides really well with the engine pull throttle back. In fact, enough so that you've got to kind of think about it. No big surprise since their designer here is an old sailplane guy and knows a thing or two about making an airplane go forward well even with the power off. Is the full dual stick here. Uh, the left side in this case has got push to talk on top of it, but uh, classic uh, vans, uh, very light controls and yet very responsive. Uh, down on the uh, floor, we've got dual pedals on both sides and dual tow brakes on both sides. And as you can see, the entry here is just a piece of cake. You get in, you stand on the floor, you sit down. It doesn't get much easier. It's uh, the reason why we've got tow brakes on this airplane. It's a castering nose wheel, so you just use a little tap of brake. Easy to get used to. First few hundred feet, you'll have that down pat, and you don't need it much as soon as you add some power to it. Bring your feet back down to the rudder pedals and just use aerodynamics. It's like a fairly wide uh, cockpit there for uh, panel and so on forth as well. Then. Well, yeah, my uh, roommate here, he didn't even know he was going to get in this video, but you're in it now. So uh, you can see we're not even bumping shoulders here, 43 inches across on the inside, which also gives us a nice panel volume to be able to install some instrumentation. Now, what we see here is it involves just a couple of options. The two dual screens that we see here, those are an option, and the autopilot that we see right over here is an option. But the rest of what we've got in here is all standard. In fact, on this particular airplane, I'm told there are only five kits, uh, five optional kits. There's an interior finish here that you can see that a nice uh, leather looking interior to it with a little storage pouch in it. There are wheel pants on this airplane. There's a lighting kit on this airplane. Autopilot is an option and of course the two Dynon screens that we see here. Those are the options. Everything else you see is part of the basic kit. And here's the part I like best. $62,000. Now that's plus 800 hours of your time, but when you're done, you're going to know the airplane inside and out. But $62,000 and you're flying. And in an airplane that's got a reputation that just kind of won't quit. And uh, if we want to get more information, then where would we go? Pretty easy. You just go to vansaircraft.com. And V-A-N-S, there's no apostrophe, although that's often used in association with the uh, company, but it's just V-A-N-S aircraft.com. And you have a flight report on this one? I do have a short report on it. I'll be doing a longer one, but after my trip down in Florida, we got a short report up on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.